some more fall things to observe. This is a tree. We could call it old or we could call it a tree with character. The bricks are coming up. Look, it's got, where is it? Right here. Then up here it's got a woodpecker hole. A lot of woodpecker holes. And look at this. Why is this here? Right here. Just some... I don't know, they look new. Are they growing out of the tree? I don't know. Out of old comes new, maybe, maybe not. And there's some rocks there. I wonder if my kids, when they were little, oops, sorry, put them there. But like when people get old, we have character. We have history. We have memories. This old tree had a lot of memories. Once my third son was outside with grandma and I was inside probably cooking or baking. I used to do a lot of that when the kids were little. And all of a sudden she sends in one of the other kids and they say, mom, mom, come outside, hurry. And grandma's out there I'm really fascinated by this. Why is this new growth here? I mean, this doesn't even belong to the tree. That's weird. Anyhow, so what shall we look at here? We'll look at this. Can I find it? Where's the hole that I'm looking at? There, a little higher now here. Anyhow, let's look at this. This reminds me of Christmas. So anyhow, running in, mom, mom, I come out, and where is my son? At the top of the tree. So, what did we do next? Well, Grandma was yelling and screaming. She was scared, and I'm like, just don't come down. Well, he was afraid to come down. So I'm thinking, Grandma, how did you let that even happen? But I didn't say anything. She enjoyed her grandchildren. It was probably so busy. There were three of them there at the time. They were little, and he was scared. And I'm afraid of heights. So, what did we have to do? We had to call the fire department. Oh yeah, we did. It was horrible. You gotta call the emergency number. And, um, <laughs> after all was said and done, they said, you know, people call for cats in the trees, so don't feel bad. It was horrible during the wait. I just kept telling my son, please, just stay there. Don't get down. Don't let go. I even tried to climb the tree, but I just, I couldn't. My fear of heights. Not even fear. I just get dizzy if I get even on a ladder. And Grandma, of course, couldn't get up on the tree. And I'm not sure. I know my oldest was scared of a lot of things. So I'm wondering if the second child was... I don't know at his friend's house, maybe. I'm not sure. I don't remember. But it was quite a while. I mean, it really was quite a while. Sometimes, you know, a few minutes feel like hours when you're in a situation like that. But truly, it took him a while to get there. And I was just, just please, just hold on and don't move. And then, of course, Grandma was promising all kinds of, you know, bribes. Don't let go. Don't move. I'll get you this. I'll get you that. You know, you know how grandmas are. And I'm just like, hold on, just hold on, help is on the way. So this tree has those kind of memories for me. At the time, it felt like a disaster, the end of the world. My gosh, if he fell, it's a very tall tree. It's old, though, it really is. But as I said in another video, I don't know if I, I don't actually know if I videotaped it. Um, maybe I just didn't load it. But anyhow, to cut down trees is a lot of money. Of course, I'm thinking, if I had a guy come over who could do it for nothing, with just a, a, a saw, not a saw, something that's electric, uh, I know what I'm talking about. I think the tree would come down pretty easy because it's all, you know, I mean, look at the bark. It's all broken apart. I don't think it'd be hard, but there's, look, someone put gloves there. What the heck in my yard? people <laughs> but I think it wouldn't be that hard at least to get the top part down and it's really something the top part oh no it's another tree no it isn't there's green there's new coming out of this old tree 
so maybe this grew out of the tree. I don't know. In here, like I said, I don't know if the rocks were from the kids were little. I remember when we were little, we used to play around old trees, and at the bottom, there would be uh, sand, not sand, dirt, and we would play, it's called campfire, we called it. So we would make little sticks and put stones in and pretend we're cooking out on the campfire. There's my Costco, whatever they're called, slides, I don't know. Um, but anyhow, yeah, I have socks with sandals. <laughs> but anyhow, we would do that, and other kids would be called in to eat, and I'd still be out there playing, doing the campfire. We called it campfire. Did you guys do anything like that? You know, simple things back before there were computers and phones and iPads and, you know, all the fast-paced stuff. We used to do a lot of make-believe. It was fun. I miss those times. I used to do those with my children, so they knew about different times in the world. We had um, oh, all kinds of things. I'll go into it. But were there any l things like that that you guys did back then? Did you carry on the traditions later on if you have children or grandchildren? or Let me know. Let me know. Did you play campfire? <laughs> or what did you do? Uh, jump rope, hula hoop, hopscotch. Let me know. I hope that's... Oh, I thought it was a dog. I think someone's walking on the street. I don't know. I don't know. But anyhow, let me know. So, I don't know how to get people to subscribe. Going slow, but it's only the first few days. So, I hope people subscribe. They say I have another channel, Sandy Mom. And I had to change, make a new channel, because I had to get a new phone. My phone broke, and for some reason, it doesn't let me into my old channel. So, hope you join. I have a lot of things planned. Someone from my old channel asked about stress management. And if you want to drop some questions down in the comment box with you about stress management, I have quite a lot of experience in that, and I love to share. So let me know if you have any questions about stress in the world that you have, you know, or how to deal with it. So let me know, but I really, I really like this. It's like new life in the midst of a dying tree. So for now, don't forget to subscribe, like, hit the notification bell, share our video, help us grow our channel. It's so hard to start all over again, but what can you do? Gotta do what you gotta do until I can figure out how to get back into my original channel. So for now, don't forget to be kind to people, help anyone you can. Give away a smile, they're free. And together, if we do all these kind things, we can make this world a better place. We can make a change. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you stay. Bye for now.